I'm going to try and show you how to mend a uh, feather sleeping bag. Actually, it would work on just about anything that you wanted to mend. Um, I am not using khaki thread, just so you can see. Um, also, this had an iron-on patch on it before I washed it, and so it came off. But I don't like patches anyway because they do lose their stick and come off, and then they make a mess of the fabric. And also, um, they can be irritating to the skin if somebody has sensitive skin when they're sleeping in it. So, um, you want to thread your needle, double thread it, tie a knot at the end, and the best way to do that is wrap the thread around your finger, pull your finger through, um, use your fingernail to catch it, and then you've got a nice knot. You need a bigger knot, um, so it doesn't come through. You saw just a second ago it came through. So you want to start on the inside of the fabric so that the knot is on the inside and it's not irritating anybody's skin. So you can see I went on the inside of the, the rip so that the knot is on the inside. And then you want to make sure that you don't have any of the feathers caught in there. Um, and if I wanted to make this invisible, I would just gather a little bit of the, the fabric, but since it's on the inside of the sleeping bag, I really don't care too much. Um, and also, I wanted you to be able to see, so that's why I'm not using the... Uh, I have thread this color, but I'm choosing not to use it for this, um, since it's already white and gunky anyway. Um, I'm catching a feather in there, so just pull it out and tuck it back in. And then you just whip stitch it. Um, there are ways you could do it if you didn't want to have a seam and I can show you that on the next stitch. So this is just a whip stitch. You just It's kind of hard to get through there because it's got a little bit of sticky on there from the iron-on patch. Um, I don't like the patches, like I said, because they're irritating and they can come undone. And if you're camping, that would be really irritating. Not that sewing can't come undone. Okay, so if I wanted this to not show, I would fold over the side and where the fold is, I would just pick up a little bit of the, the thread of the item I wanted to sew. It's folded over and then I would come over here and come on the fold on this side and go through. This needle is bigger than it should be for this tight weave of fabric but I wanted you to be able to see it. So I'm going on the... so I folded it over a little bit and I catch right on the fold and I bring it up and... it's getting caught there. Okay, so then as I'm folding it and I'm going back, so then I go back on this side where it's folded and I gather a little bit more. It's hard because this needle's too big and it's tight weave and sticky from the patch. So then I pull it through and as you can see, as I'm pulling those spots, here it's whip stitched and you can see the stitch and it's got quite a bit of fabric so it's a little stiffer uh, and it, it, you will see it but if, if I'm doing a pillow closed or a quilt then this is how I do it and um, once again I've got it folded over um, I gather a little bit of the fabric on the fold this is on the fold and you pull it through okay so now I'm pulling it and it's like a shoelace and it starts to, you can see there's no stitches there, and it starts to close it up with um, no seam showing. So because I really just want to get this done and I really don't care, I'm going to go back to the other way. Um, but if it was on the outside of the sleeping bag, if, I, if this wasn't a sleeping bag, if it was a quilt on my child's bed, uh, or a pillow they used, you know, on their bed that would be seen every day, I would do that other lace-up type of mending. But because, like I said, I'm doing this fast, I really don't care. I'm just going to put it through and whip it up. Anyway, you can see it's... Oh, i got to go back a little bit because I skipped a little piece in there. So, anyway, those are two different stitches you can use to mend blankets, pillows, sleeping bags. Um, this is not how I mend clothing. This clothing is different. 
but it is a good way for blankets and those kind of items, pillows, if you're stitching up a pillow front cover, this is that um, lace up way is a very good way to do that. So, anyway, just thought I would share that today. Hopefully, you can see it okay. There's the whip stitch right there. And then I did go back over this, but there, there's where it's like the stitch is not showing. Where I showed you the second one, and then I'm just going to finish whip stitching this up. You can check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, where I'll show it in a little bit more detail with pictures. I, I'm sure with the angle I had the camera on, it was probably not the best, but when you're videotaping yourself, it makes it kind of hard. So, 